So, Karita D, it's finally nice to meet you. Oh, great to be here. I, I, I'm delighted. Thank you for inviting me. I met you on the radio. I was a listener with my mom. She actually introduced me to your show here back on the gospel station while I was doing my master's. I was going through a hard time. So she was like, you need to come listen to this show. I said, like, I'm really about that right now. <laughs> She's like, no, come, come, come. And every night she will sit, listen to your show and cheer me on as I literally cry through this work. So it's an honor to meet you. And now you have a brand new show here. Could you tell us a little bit, a little bit about um, what has been going on in terms of representing yourself to the public? Okay. Well, first of all, I want to say a big, big shout out to mom. <laughs> 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 Gotta love those moms for really uh, just staying with me and being loyal to me. Uh, when I came into Barbados uh, back in 2012, when uh, we launched the show in December 2012, I had no idea how amazing, uh, and I want to give honor to God first for the uh, the incredible work that he had uh, laid out for me to do um, in this season. Um, when coming in uh, and sharing, just as you shared, uh, that you were there with your mom and uh, hearing the the voice of the of the women in Barbados um, was such a, a pleasure for me to be able to go into their lives every night and to be able to talk to them and bring them in. And I'm glad that mom brought you in <laughs> during your your deepest, darkest moment. And that's what it's all about, getting women to come out of their deepest, darkest moments, no matter where they are, and to be able to take their lives to the next level. From there, uh, it really I really had a, a heart to go into more people of course this was just a start you know um, one of the things that God says in his word is that we go from glory to glory that's what you were doing with your masters you were going from bachelors to masters which was another glory level right I had hoped and continue to hope that my life will be an inspiration to everyone so that their lives will continue to be an inspiration to the next generation uh, unfortunately for many many years when I lived in Barbados originally um, I was I was hor horrified at the conditions that women were living in not necessarily natural conditions but emotional conditions spiritual conditions and uh, so it was time for us to come together as a movement as as a group of women who were to learn to love one another to support one another to encourage one another so that we could get to the next level so I am so delighted tonight to be able to hear that your mother introduced you to me and I was able to do my job every single night. I always had this desire to do TV. I did some TV before, but I wanted to do it on a different level. And I knew that God was taking me into, into um, deeper waters, as they say. You can't stay on the same level forever. And so I had this yearning to do it, but I lacked enough um, support in order to, to birth the dream out. And so sometimes when you are in the midst of doing um, things like this, you sometimes you're, you're going into your master's or you're going into a new job or whatever the case may be, you're gonna need somebody to give you that push. You're gonna need people to support you. And that's the time when you come under the fire. And so I went through the fire but it didn't stop the command that God had on my life for Barbados and the region. It was just that I had to tweak some things and get some things right and do some things in a, a different order. And now, thank God, we have, we, I'm able to burst through and uh, go into the region. We still going to do Barbados. Thank God. I love my girls in Barbados, but we've got a lot more women to reach. We've got women in Haiti. Yes. We've got women in Trinidad. We've got women in Aruba and Curacao. We've got women in the Dominican Republic. We've got women in Jamaica and Antigua. We've got women in Virgin Gorda. We've, you, do you understand? We've got a whole lot of women. So now we're in 30 countries around the world okay and uh, so that we can reach more women and women of our ethnicity women Caribbean women have a certain flavor you know what I'm saying I used to get that a lot when I lived in um, upstate New York there were people that would come in and say well you 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 black but you kind of you kind of got a flavor <laughs> you know and it's true we have we have a certain uniqueness about us we're not discrediting women from other work you know other other areas but we have that Caribbean Latina French Creole flavor that's all mixed in that make us so you know yummy <laughs> you know so um it's good to get into these other cultures now yes because we do have individual cultures in the caribbean but at the same time we're all one we 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 all have something going on that we need some encouragement 
Yeah. Now you have this humongous community now. <laughs> it has grown by leaps and bounds. Um, you've mentioned Haiti, Jamaica, Trinidad, all, as you say, Caribbean pepper pot. Yes. Now, what now is your objective in pulling these other countries now together? What is the fine thread that you're looking for to tie every, everybody together? Okay. Uh, that's a great question because the fine thread is that really very simple. We're just helping women get back on track. Okay, um, it doesn't matter if you're a Trini, <laughs> you understand? Oh yeah, Jamaican, you know, it doesn't matter, you know, if you speak Pali Francais, it doesn't matter. What matters is that at, in, the, in the dead of the night, when it's just you and God, when you've got an issue, it transcends any culture. When a woman is, is, is so hurt because her man just left, you know what I'm saying? And she, she's devastated, her, her self um, image has been torn apart. She's down to the lowest, lowest ebb of where she can go. But at the same time, she has to get up every day and take care of those children. She has to see that they are motivated, that they go to school, that she's driven now to make sure that they are going to succeed. That transcends any cultural boundary. Every last one of us do that. Okay, every last one of us. Every last one of us goes through something. Every last one of us is looking for that one word that will get us to the next day. We may not even have a word for the, that will get us through a month. But if we can get a word that can get us through the night, just like you were right there, then you will keep going day after day after day. And that's the common thread through the Caribbean. Okay, so behind us, we have some of your work here. Yes. Um, your book that I have seen around in a couple of bookstores every time I say wait you to keep popping up all the time man in your work in your empowerment work female empowerment work what are some of the stories that have come about these last wow these Ooh. these few years or one that you can pick of that had really moved you and your community one night wow gosh there's so many that's that's a good question I've never had to think about it like that but um I think in general um, what has happened is that it has given me more information to share in the books. Uh, my first books were, uh, a lot of them were uh, based on insta instances and incidents that I had experienced in the United States because I'd lived there for 27 years. Um, coming back into the Caribbean now and, and understanding our flavor and understanding the way that we do things, um, it has really been a, a blessing to me because now I meet women from every uh, specter. In the, in the U.S., it's a little more distant uh, because you don't really meet congresswoman so-and-so. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I wasn't privy to meeting the congresswoman and things like that. But in Barbados, can. I can. Um, in Jamaica, I can. In Grenada and St. Vincent, I can. They approach me. You see what I'm saying? I'm privy to to having friends who are in all the political spheres. I'm, but I'm I'm still privy to having my girlfriend down the street who say in the fish market and go shout me and say, hey, "You still here? You understand what I'm saying?" So I, I I I love the fact that that it allows me to be diverse. And yes, I've had great experiences. Um, I remember uh, meeting <laughs> meeting women who, uh, a, a woman who, who came to me and she said, God, Karidi, you know what? I'm, I'm missing you. I, I'm not hearing you enough. And, and as she said to me, she said, I, I just miss you. I miss having you at night. I miss, and it, it, it just inspired me to continue to do what I have to do. One of the, the most uh, devastating um, experiences that I've, I've seen and heard is, of course, domestic violence. Um, it is extremely rampant in the Caribbean. Um, it, it is far, the numbers are far greater than anyone can even sit and write about the domestic abuse. Um, there are a lot of angry people um, in the Caribbean. And as the economic situation is tested, Okay, um, you will find that there are there will be more and more domestic abuse, and so I am um, challenged every day to get women past these domestic issues. I am challenged myself because I encounter it myself in different areas, and so for me to be inspired by them and them to be inspired by me is an ideal situation. So yes, um, without sharing until they tell me, yeah, girl, yeah, you could tell them my story. <laughs> you know, um, some of them will come to me and, and share. And just recently we had um, my dear friend Onika who died in Swan Street because her 
uh, husband just decided that they want, you know, he wanted to end her life and uh, devastating, devastating circumstances. So yes, a lot of them have, have inspired me now to go on and write some more books. <laughs> what is it that Karita D wants to leave behind? What is it that you want to be remembered for? Wow. Okay. I want to be remembered for um, the woman, to be the woman that just came by and encouraged you, kind of like Jesus. Okay. Many people met Jesus on the street and he just did something that changed their life immediately. And that's the kind of impact. I want to leave them the Jesus in me. Okay. I want to leave. I know that I'm not perfect. Never, never claim to be perfect, but I do have a perfect heart towards God. Okay. And that's what I want women to understand. There's no perfection in this world. There's no way that you can become the all things to all people. Okay, I, I want to leave behind the fact that uh, religion is real. It's, it shouldn't be religion. It should be just reality. Uh, that Christianity is real. It's about Christ. So often, sometimes I'm incognito and, you know, I, I don't have the hair on and the makeup and stuff. And I can sit, you know, somewhere and, and just listen to people. And one of the things I hear people say all the time is, oh, them Christians, yeah, they ain't no good. You know, <laughs> you know, and I say to myself, baby, you don't judge Christianity on a person. You judge Christianity on Christ. I'm not mad at them for saying that because they're right. We Christians got a lot of issues just like everybody else. Right. But the fact is that we've got the main man, Jesus Christ, that we can go to the savior that will give us the inspiration to keep going. So all about the show tell us where we can go and see you now social media email if anybody out yes, there wants to absolutely. contact you yes. go right ahead okay great so it's the Carita D TV show now and uh, we are on Carib Vision which is um all over the Caribbean so check your lo local network listings for uh, Carib Vision it's on channel 109 on MCTV and then another channel on Flow and Digicel so check your local listing for Carib Vision and of course I'm live on Facebook at night so right as soon as the show starts boom I'm live actually I'm live two minutes prior so I kind of introduce my Facebook uh, group all of you who are out there to the show so that we can start rolling and um, ultimately we'll be we'll be live uh, in a few months on every platform that is 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 live so that's the whole point is to reach as many people as we can possibly at any given moment so we're live at 10 30 at night 10 30 to 11 30 we're just so grateful once again to care vision for really uh partnering with us in this vision to take us uh worldwide we believe that this is a timely uh, show it is a show not designed just for sensationalism that's not what i want i want it to be fun I want it to be laid back. We're going to cry sometimes. We're going to laugh sometimes. We're going to have intense discussions. We're going to get information, new information. But we want to develop a community of women that we are there every single night because we know we need this. You know, we, we, we uh, it's good to laugh and stuff at the other stuff, but I, I would rather be somewhere where I'm getting something that's going to change my life. Exactly. And we need to heal. So 1030 every night, Monday through Friday on Caravision and of course live on Facebook. Thank you so much, Karita. <laughs> well, I know a lot of you out there have been uh, emailing me and Facebooking me and inboxing me and whatnot because you want to have me come and speak. And I'm delighted to come and speak at your event, at your church, wherever you want me to. Just email ggaloutreach at hotmail.com, ggaloutreach outreach at hotmail.com or of course you can inbox me um, I'd be delighted to come out and speak um, I've got lots of speaking engagements so go ahead and book me now uh, so that we can get it on the road but once again inbox me on Facebook Karita D or email ggaloutreach at hotmail.com